It's Derby Day, and there's nothing more that we want to have on Derby Day than a nice, cool, refreshing drink. And we want it with some booze. So we're going to make ourselves a little bit of a Kentucky Derby classic, which is the mint julep. The mint julep, maybe besides big hats, are the number one thing that's associated with the Kentucky Derby besides the horses. And I love these drinks, but I don't have a traditional Kentucky Derby glass. I'm using a Moscow Mule glass, but it's okay. You really want to just get the frosting and these get the frosting just right. So the ingredients for this are really easy. You really only need three things and then some ice. And of course, we're going to start with some Kentucky bourbon. I'm using the Mills and Mash. You can use whatever else you want, but stick to Kentucky bourbon. It makes it more traditional. The next thing that we're going to need is some simple syrup. You can find this at your grocery store or any uh, liquor store basically, but it gives you that nice little sweetness and you'll want that little sugar in there. The last part is the mint. You're going to need about a, a head of this, a few sprigs for the end, and then about eight to ten leaves so that we can mull it in first. So the first thing we're going to add is about a half an ounce of our simple syrup. Next, we're going to take eight to ten mint leaves and put those in. Now, when we're mulling this, we're not trying to kill it. We're not trying to murder it. We just want to break it up a little bit so that the aromatic starts to come out in it. Now we're going to add our bourbon and we're gonna add two and a half ounces to our cup that we just muddled. Next, we're gonna add some ice. It's best to use crushed ice, or you could use cubes and break it up in your hand. I've got crushed ice, it's better. It makes your mug become frostier quicker, and it makes the alcohol mix in a lot better. So, we're gonna go ahead and use crushed ice. Once we've added that ice, now we're gonna mix it with our handy stir. In order to get a really good frost on the mug, it's really important that you don't touch the mugs with your hands. Those oils are gonna to transfer to the mug and a lot of people really like their mug really nice and frosty. So remember, if you're using a proper cup, don't touch it. Now we're gonna add more ice and kind of dome it at the top. But at this point, after you've stirred it, you will start to see your glass start to frost up. This is exactly what you want to see. Now from here, we've got a nice dome on the top. All we're going to do is garnish it with some more mint, and we're going to make a little hole for our spoon, and we're done. Gotta love the frost on there. Now we gotta taste it. That's a damn good drink. So, go make yourself one. I hope you enjoy this. And if you're betting on the race, I hope you win. And if not, have a few of these. You'll forget about your losses. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click on that too. But if not, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching this far. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.